I literally just put one of these on there and went to town. And it's way more effective <laughs> when you know what you're doing. So I'll link the app down below so you can check that out. We are jumping into glitters now. Glitter and lasers. I've never done her live. So I'm curious to see uh, what she has to say. So let me bring on glitter. And she goes running though. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to say, I find it interesting because I was a distance runner. I don't want to ever discourage people from running. But I've been running, gosh, and I mean, competitively racing and so forth for 40, over 40 years. So I find it interesting to see other people when they start a running career. And Anna has been very problematic. I'm going to bring her to the stage, but Anna has been very problematic lately. I don't know if many of you actually obviously follow her, but she has been uh, kind of saying some wild things from what I can gather out on um, her Insta stories that there have been people who have been, you know, giving compliments to her. And she then has gotten very upset, very angry about people paying her compliments if she actually exercises. You, obviously, I can't believe how unconcerned the girls are. I'm healthy and fit, rolled my ankles out. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry to hear that. I am always surprised. And this is why, like I said, I would never discourage this person, but I don't know if her running or <laughs> run walking or what she does is necessarily a good plan with her just having so much weight on those knees and ankles i mean i don't think the body's carry i she would be better in a pool and working her and calorie restricting and when i've seen some of the meals that she eats and the surfboard size lasagna i saw one day and the process she's a lot of processed foods and i think that can you know there's evidence to start to show that this is you know not beneficial and can cause other problems because it's not real food that you're eating as much as these companies try to market and say these processed candy bars the quest bars and all this sort of stuff is good for you it really isn't it's not it's not they're always saying oh better nutrition so no better nutrition than getting a piece of fruit or you know some uh, you know baked sweet potato something so all of this is just, you know, stuff for people to sell people and because people struggle. And, and all they do is probably actually contribute to them not really being able to manage and lose weight because they're not learning how to eat in healthy patterns at all. She's still, you know, she's real problematic, but she got upset because somebody complimented her. She also, her other big thing for me is that she does, she really uses her platform like a marketing tool. So I think my big point about this is, is that always talk to your healthcare provider and just double check because these guys are always selling stuff. And this is not necessarily the person I want to buy a workout routine from, you know, not to say that it's not inspirational, but I would rather see a coach who knew how to work with people and give them correctly modified activities than this person doing it on her own. That's kind of, you know, my point on that. And I think she sometimes seems to have people around her, but I feel like I'm just getting to know her. I, there's something a little off. I think she talks fast anyway, so I don't think I need to speed her up. A lot of you have asked me questions about how to get started working out and how to even go to a gym for the first time. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. You never have to set foot in a gym if you don't want to. In fact, there's tons of great tools you can use at home to create an exercise routine that's not only going to challenge you, but help you build muscle over time right in your house. So today I thought it'd be really cool to take you guys through what I use personally in my kind of like makeshift home gym to help me build my strength, my endurance, and my muscles. So hopefully you can find some things that might help you build a space at home that feels welcoming and helps you progress to a healthier lifestyle. Let's get into it. Let's start with the biggest and arguably one of my best home gym fitness purchases. This is a Flybird workout bench. You might be asking why this bench? Well, I did a lot of research because I am in a bigger body and frankly, I am terrified that a bench is going to collapse under me and that I'm going to get injured. So what I loved about this bench is that it supports up to 800 pounds, which means not only will it support my weight, but will also support me using my weight in exercises. You know, that 
extra weight that comes with force. And I'm bouncing. <laughs> this is so awkward. But you get the point. You get the point. Now, I also like it because it's really adjustable. You can put it in a variety of different settings based on your workout. So if you need back support when you're sitting or if you need to lay down, both options are available. You can also work out in an incline as you challenge yourself further in your workout. Also, and this is probably my favorite thing about it, it folds up and you can hide it in a closet or a corner of your house. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. Unlike some other benches that support heavier weights, this bench actually can be folded down and put away. In living in an apartment, I don't have a ton of extra space. I don't have a permanent home gym. So this bench worked perfect for me. I keep it in my corner. I keep it folded up. And when I need it, it's there and easy to put back together. So for me, it really was a winner. Now, the other purchase that was frankly pretty much an investment, I'm not going to lie about it, but I have no regrets over and absolutely love are these adjustable weights. These are from Nordic Track and these are my babies, my children, my workout compadres. I love them. Why are these so amazing? Let me fill you in. These weights are so amazing because they adjust from all the way up from 10 pounds to 55 pounds, which means any like weight I need in that range, I've got it. And they adjust quickly and easily. And if I'm switching weights within a workout, I have what I need when I need it. If you buy dumbbells individually, it can get really expensive. Actually, probably more expensive than the adjustable dumbbells. Additionally, they take up more space. They can be cumbersome. You need a storage area for them. Whereas these I just hide behind my couch and nobody knows they're there. Additionally, I really, really like them because they allow me to grow and progress. I purposely bought the 10 pounds to 55 pounds, knowing that I don't lift 55 pounds now, but I might in the future. So these are future proof for me. They're gonna allow me to grow and become stronger and support me with that growth. I will say, if you're not interested in yes. building uh, that level of muscle, there is a cheaper variation that's available, which I believe goes five to 25. Exactly. I'm loving the comments. Hey guys, yes. It's like a home shopping program and she's littered with affiliate links. This is, this is why I find this young lady so problematic. I have watched uh, Takara and her form is terrible. Okay. I understand her form is terrible. She could actually hurt somebody who's in a larger body potentially because she really should be directing them to work with somebody initially. I, I know she does, but this is, if they'd never seen her content, this is what they would be seeing. Like, oh shoot, just get this home workout equipment, let me go. She sounds out of breath when she's actually explaining all of this stuff. Because obviously what ends up happening, and it's unfortunate, but when you're a heavier person, like poor Anna here, your weight of your abdomen, and I think she has lipedema. I think Amber Lynn has lipedema and lymphedema. You know, a consequence sometimes. The abdomen, it's got a certain amount of space, but will push up on the diaphragm. The diaphragm will push up onto the lungs and it will literally make you sound out of breath just standing there. So she's stood there and she's been doing this weight loss journey for about a year now. And she really has not made substantial losses. So that's another thing that's like, girl, what have you been doing? But she's always out here selling stuff. Always, always. It's wild. Anyway, let's continue with Anna. Okay, this is the other thing that I heard on, and this is just alleged. We're just, we're, we're galatining and gossiping a little bit for Valentine's. We're bringing in a new creator a little bit just because, you know, Foodie is wild. I don't want to get into her. She's on with Gobi too. Yes, that's the one that they would, yes, that would be the one uh, prescribed specifically for obesity. Uh, Azempic is for diabetes with, it had a potential side, you know, the side effect of weight loss, but insurance will pay for, one of the things in the US just, yes, the drinking issues. Thank you, Desiree. Yes, she has potentially, I've heard, issues with alcohol. And with her having lipedema, it's pretty much 
advise, since it's an inflammatory process, to stay away from alcohol. It's just, you know, if you want to manage it well. It's, 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 it's unfortunate. It's, you know, not fun if you like to have a drink. I guess you always have to balance. Do I want to feel good or I want to have a drink? That's not a good... So she's out here. Again, this is why I just always want folks to be very, you know, even with someone like me, but at least I try to put my nursing license out. I'm not, I talk about it, but I do have professional licensure. I'm not trying to be, a, I don't say anyone would listen to book. Well, I, I don't think it's a mean question, Adrienne, but I think for anybody who is also experiencing and feeling in step with Anna, whether it be with their size or the struggles that they're having, then a lot of people might find, oh, this person says that they're also on a weight loss journey. Because that's how some of these people, I think initially she was about her fashion and stuff. And it didn't seem that her weight was part of it. But for the last year or so, from what I can see, she's really started to talk about this health journey more. And the difficulty is, is that she, her skin, everything, she doesn't, this is what, after a year and to be honest, I don't see that she looks specifically like somebody she needs. Amber needs to quit. Yeah, Amber has to quit the pills balls if she wants to get better at all. Oh, Amber, girl, I found some stuff. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, these girls. Yeah. So I just don't know. And then I don't think her form is correct on a lot of this. And I think also you're not getting the information about having a consultation. I don't know. She said that about a consultation with your doctor before you start an exercise program like this, especially with her audience. You know, maybe they have blood pressure issues and stuff. Maybe, you know, they need to monitor their blood pressure before they start exercising, because it potentially could be dangerous just to start exercising with really high blood pressure. There needs to be conversations around these things. Most of the audience are going to be a little bit older. You know, those are things you literally do need to think about as we get older. It's it's sad, but true. <laughs> you, she, yes. Somebody said Desiree. No way she should be running or jumping. Well, Desiree, you're going to watch this girl running like she's Trying to get into the Olympic team in a minute. <laughs> She's out for the Olympics. Oh, God. She just doesn't. Her hair is all messed up here at the top. Anna, you, you look like you had a rough night. Five pounds, and it is considerable. You won't like me commenting about Money, that. and that's, that's really I'm because pissed. they're not as heavy, <laughs> right? So you're paying for that extra weight and the design of it being stronger to be able to support that extra weight. But overall, these have been really my partners in crime and getting my workout together. And I have. Okay. Is it just me? Okay. My nurse senses are coming out now. Okay. I. <laughs> okay. So just, okay. All right. Yeah. She's damaging her blood. Does she seem like she a little intoxicated when she's doing this presentation? Something about it makes me think she's a little drunk. She looks very red eyed and just the way she's presenting it, it just, I'm getting like a vibe. She might be intoxicated. Watch a real, any of you are healthcare professionals out here, anybody, and even any of you just watch as she's doing her presenting and her hand movements, her hair real messy too. Something is just giving me like, she may not be super yes Brooke you think she's maybe drinking on this I'm getting like drinking vibes I'm just alleging it's my opinion I think she might be intoxicated I've had to deal with it a lot in my line of work just watch her when she's still and if she is intoxicated and she out here with these weights man that's even worse Oh, she's hammered. Yes, trust too, Hall. I think she's hammered. I seriously think she's hammered in this video. Just look at the way she's holding the weights too. I swear, because remember, this content just came out, okay? This is brand new. She's been getting a lot of pushback about the incident in the park because she got very upset when a, a, supposedly a thin woman complimented her. But there is 
stories I understand where an attractive man once said to her that she was doing great and she was like all about it. And I used to have a girlfriend who used to be like that. Like anything about a girl, 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 a compliment or anything. Ah, and she'd get real like irritated. Have a man didn't even he didn't even have to be that hot. Well, no, she like, you know, hotter the better. You know, she was she was definitely a pick me, okay? And not to be terrible. But she we're Galentine, okay? It's Valentine's. But she definitely, like, would get just crazy if a man paid her a compliment. But if it was a girl, did anything, she would be all, we, we, we're, we're galentine happy Valentine's, wherever you are in the world. Which, it's Dia de la Amistad in muchos países de America Latina y España y países como así. Entonces, de todos... De mi viendo desde esas partes del mundo. Feliz día de la amistad también. I want to cover my whole audience. We got we got an international group here today. Okay, let's see let's see if uh, glitter and lasers takes her head out with a weight, guys. Because now I'm concerned she drunk and she's holding heavy equipment. <laughs> she makes tacky sexual innuendo. Well, she's definitely intoxicated then. Oh God. Okay, I now think she's drunk and on the equipment. Let's Zero go. regrets about purchasing them. Look They've been this. fantastic. I've been using them for over four months and I've had absolutely no issues. So couldn't recommend them more. This strap is probably the oldest thing in my home gym. And honestly, cannot live without it. Hair Especially if you're in a larger body, a good strap for stretching is that. really important. What I love about this strap in particular is that it has all of these little areas you can grab on. So if you're in a stretch and you're working towards deepening that stretch, you can use these loops to help you pull yourself forward to allow you to deepen that stretch safely, but also use the strap to like help you get there. Sometimes our bodies, frankly, can be a little bit in the way and this helps counteract that by allowing you to maintain that pressure. Also, I use this when I'm doing leg lifts, when I'm doing um, any types of stretches that require me to lift my leg in the air. It just allows me to get a better positioning of the leg and just, again, be more supported in that exercise. I think that if something off, I, I feel like something's off. <laughs> the girl is wasted. <gasps> I feel like she's like something's off. She doesn't have to EMS coffee. <laughs> she's the lady of the part. I feel, I just feel like she had a, a drink. Something is not right. I've watched a little bit of her content. She's. I just, I'm getting, I'm getting, like, I'm getting a sense that this is not sober content. Allegedly, in my opinion, only. I'm sorry. She just, I, I'm looking at her. If anyone's got a big TV, just take a look and see if she looks as red as I think. But the, everyone uses filters nowadays. So who knows? If you are just starting working out and you want to work out safely and build your flexibility, I could not recommend this more. It is my favorite thing i've literally had it for around 10 years it's still in great shape so it will work forever and even if you're not exercising and you just want to get a better stretch this is your girl this mat is new for me i actually was gifted it from pop flex i didn't know if i was gonna love it but turns out i really needed it because this is how i protect my knees now using a mat you can use it for yoga sometimes i even prefer to do like my planks and stuff on the floor because I feel like my shoes get a better grip. But what I use this mat for is a lot of the exercise. Did she know her hair was like all like at the top? Because she's got like millions of followers. I don't know. She doesn't, she doesn't. Girl, that's not, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pause her there. I feel like I'm trying to troll this poor woman. I just want her to give a little bit more of a health warning before she just starts popping down on the floor like this with her followers. Some of these people may be brand new to the content. And so I think she just kind of needs to advise people a little better, but she's selling all this equipment, obviously. I'm sure that there's an absolutely an affiliate link because we'll take a little peek at her comments at the end. 
um, because they were complaining about it in the comments of her channel. So I just feel like she's not real. Yeah, the whole thing. It just, it's, it's, girl, if you watch any of her content, there is one about snacks I wanted to cover, but it's, I might still try to go to it at some point. And everything is processed in a packet. And everything has an affiliate link. And everything is ridiculously expensive. And none of it would be something that I would recommend to keep anybody healthy. But unfortunately, the, what we always say in our field in medicine is the things that we recommend to people don't have big marketing teams behind them, aren't necessarily sexy, and don't sell because it's just basic good lifestyle things like good sleep, good healthy, it doesn't mean organic, but just fruit and vegetables. <laughs> I think the organic industry has hijacked the word healthy. So people immediately think the word healthy and they think we're talking expensive and it doesn't have to be expensive. I promise you, I can go to Kroger and get, I got like a bunch of grapefruits for next to nothing that they bagged off for 99 cents and they and they're perfect they just do it on occasion i have no shame about buying things that are reduced down it doesn't bother me because i'm going to eat it up quick you know what difference does it make anyway let's go why is she lying i'm, I'm just kind of worried she on the floor like this and I, I let's see if they actually give us the video of her getting up off the floor or are they just going to jump cut <laughs> i want to see I want to say off the floor. Exercises when I'm on my knees. And what I do is I actually double it over. So instead of having a mat like this. <laughs> How come we didn't get to see her getting up off the floor with that equipment? Now, I'm not trying to troll you, girl, but don't jump cut like that when you're trying to do an exercise video. That's shame. And we'll have the mat like this for extra cushion. Sometimes if I'm really sore, I'll give myself four... <laughs> Four folds of the mat, so I get as much cushion as I can well, underneath my knee like to prevent any I pain. Um, I've been doing a lot of work on my one knee tip I like. joints in particular, so I've had less pain recently, but I still have flare-ups. And this is the only way some days that I can do activities on my knees and sometimes even my shins because they can be a never little, little bit transition. sore, especially if I'm inflamed. So getting a good oh, girl, solid good mat with some playing. good cushioning so not something that's straight oh, flat. Anna, i'm gonna give you some uh free quick advice if you're out drinking and you have lipedema alcohol causes inflammation i i don't know if it's just a rumor we're we're just laughing sweetheart okay it's galentine day and you've been all stressed out and you did kind of look a little inebriated it just in my professional bit. Oh, is that why that hair up like that? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see you transition up from the floor up to the thing, so we can see what's going on, girl. All right, let's continue. It's really important in just protecting movement. those joints and protecting your knees when doing floor work. This is my newest baby. I'm obsessed with her. Um, this is a TRX, and this is the travel version of the TRX. Now I got this because I started using the TRX as part of my physical therapy and I loved what it did in terms of helping me build power and overall physical oh endurance. And why, I wanted to be able why? to continue okay, doing those exercises okay. at home. Can I, and can honestly, I, TRX can here overall is a an orthopedic or a, a physical therapist. Why would you have, I mean, I concerned she was jumping on those knees. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I'm concerned that she was jumping. Yes, thank you. Why is she jumping? I have no idea. I guess she thinks it's going to help her burn calories. I would suggest if you want to do that in a pool. I know it doesn't burn the same way, the calories, but just to help you move the joints and get the joints moving because that could potentially just take out your ankle, Anna. And the trainer who allowed you to land with so much weight on your ankles like that is doing you a disservice. I know you don't want to hear that. And if you're drinking too, girl, I'm going to let you know it weakens the bone. I wouldn't combine alcohol and weight and jumping if the alcohol is true. You can use a peddler. You can do all sorts of things, but alcohol does decrease bone strength. So it would not be advised if she did drink 
to be jumping up and down like that. I mean, God, TRX. Oh yeah. You're going to see her go at it, Erica, in just a minute. Yeah. Oh, watch her. She just, yeah. Yeah. You watch it. She's going to go out running in a minute, guys. It gets wild. This video gets wild. And it's not to say that people should not exercise. What I'm trying to just preface is to be very cautious because a lot of what this person is doing could potentially not be recommended. Especially if you're doing it, you know, and she just doesn't, something is off on her energy. Her, her She just doesn't look well. I just would, uh, would think that if you've been exercising and following a good plan for over a year with all this equipment, all this stuff that she's given persistently, I mean, all these brand deals, because this girl has over 2 million followers on Instagram and over 2 million on you. I mean, she's a huge, I mean, comparatively to Amberlynn or Foodie or any of these, her channels are huge, huge, okay? I, we were talking this girl is way larger a content creator, but she seems to have been pretty untouchable because she's so cheerful, but she started to get the way some of these folks seem to get, where she's like out there probably just trying to film some content or something, or potentially she is exercising. But I just, I think she needs to be working with somebody and showing that you can't outrun a bad diet. Absolutely not. Most of us, any of us know, and people used to always say, ah, oh, he keeps the thinner stuff because it doesn't run in my family. I promise you. My mom and my grandma struggled with their weight. It really is. Obviously, you have to be active. The activity doesn't need to be as intense as people think. Walking 10,000 steps, there's a video that's quite interesting. I'm, I'm curious to look at it. It showed that literally this lady seemed to get more results from the 10,000 steps than she did from like hardcore exercise. So I'd be curious to look at that because there's obviously a lot of clickbait. So I'm I'm just curious. I do a lot of walking with Junebug, but I'm very specific, not specific, but on the whole, like tonight I wanted to go get, you know, this cookie from a bakery across the street. And I stopped myself because I just ate bread and had had a spice burger and I knew I had an apple. And so I'm just like, you know, I don't need that tonight. And I don't need to add more with a cookie. So I just, just didn't go, you know? So it is about choices at the end of the day. It really is. And not every, oh, I am. All right, let's keep going. We still have much longer. And I don't want to keep you guys for too long. We've already been galantining for a while. Great way to push. <laughs> your flexibility and your mobility while also protecting your joints when you're a heavier person. It allows you to put some of the weight of your body into your arms, which then reduces the friction and the tension in your legs, which basically just protects your legs. So I when no I'm practicing clue, things correct. like jump squats and stuff like that, Why where I want to squat? get the mobility of the movement to warm up my joints, but don't necessarily want to put as much pressure on, the TRX is your like ultimate friend. You can use it anywhere at home. This goes right over the door and that creates the tension point and your door frame will support you. Trust me, I did not believe it myself, oh. but it does work. And then you can adjust it to whatever height you need. The one I have comes in a little bag, so I can actually take it with me when I travel. Since running is really important to me right now and I have some really big goals, I am probably going to travel with my TRX. What that allows me to do is have almost like a complete home gym with me in my suitcase. So this will allow me to do body weight exercises and all kinds of things from beginner to all the way advanced level uh, fitness training with just one item. I would say the TRX is one of the most underrated fitness items out there. In fact, I wish more gyms had this than had like machines because being able to move under your own body weight is honestly one of the most like empowering forms of exercises there is. And honestly, I would say I've increased my mobility significantly once I started using this in my training, especially my power. I feel like I'm able to like jump higher and push harder since I started incorporating TRX. I don't know. I feel like her delivery, and we'll keep continuing to listen. It's something about her delivery and how I've usually heard her do 
her delivery of her videos, she just isn't getting the words out right. Something is wrong. Something a little off. Holy heck, Burgundy buddy. I know. We're all concerned. I'm like half the way and I will not do jump squats. I don't know if I'd recommend body weight squats for her. I, I would, if anybody is a physical therapist or an orthopedic person, knowing she has potentially lipidemia, lipidemia, that if she breaks. Yeah, they will show the bolt where, yeah, Team Psych Ward, that, we won't see that. Okay, let's keep going. She's almost done. And then we'll we'll take a quick peek. See, she's only got also, a few Also, if minutes. this feels overwhelming and you're like, how, how the hell will I use forever? this? There is an app that does show you all types of exercises you can use for TRX. So like, don't stress out so much about not necessarily knowing how to use it. A, there's a lot of tutorials online. Let me know if you want me to make one. I can show you some exercises I use at various levels if that would be helpful. But there's also <laughs> yes. and other things that can give you tons of movements to do with this TRX. Now we're moving more into things that are focused on making workouts more enjoyable and recovery more enjoyable. So I'm going to show you something that's a little bit gross, but it's important. <laughs> if you've seen any of my short form content with me running, you will have seen these. These are my Bose wireless headphones. Oh, let me tell you something. These girl, are wearing I believe, around 10 years old. Dude, that's convinced me. I need to put my PO box on my channel, man. Dang. I'd love to have Bose send me something. Gosh. This girl has no medical knowledge, no fitness knowledge. She's just basically put on some tacky outfits over the years, from what I can see. I showed my friend today her outfits on my video my friend was just like why is she picking those outfits i said i have no idea I, we're gonna check out afterwards if she got affiliate links for all these hold on we'll wait but yeah those are when i got them they were state-of-the-art technology it was like a big deal to have wireless headphones and they were a big purchase oh they me. probably sent her that i have only replaced just these ear pieces which i do regularly just for hygiene you can see the top is literally crumbling it's disgusting but they are still good they are still as good as the day i bought them these phenomenally hold up through literally everything i've ever done and i probably will never buy another brand of headphones if these for some reason break which i honestly am beginning to believe they're indestructible because 10 years and they still look so good um, oh and these, honestly these replacements were like 10 bucks all right who wants to put a prediction in the chat as to when anna is going to need to have a knee replacement God, I I don't mean it like that, but there really are certain times when I, as a previous runner, would not advise that that's a very good plan. I don't think you're getting the calorie burn that you think you are from running. The, the cardiovascular health, you can do cardiovascular exercises like doing the arm machines that you just turn the arms for 31 minutes and other types of sitting equipment that will give you cardiovascular health and then will protect your joints. But this is just for show and you're, you're actually going to harm yourself, sweetheart. I would never advise anybody. And I did work with exercise physiologists and in rehab situations. So it's not like I'm unfamiliar with dealing with larger patients and trying to have them exercise. And I don't think she's getting, if she's trying to run, I don't think she's ever going to be able to burn enough calories for her to be able to negate anything that she's eating. It's not giving her the, it's running is for cardiovascular. She'd be better off doing scissored weights or weights or dumbbells or something where she's burning, you know, more energy with, you know, that sort of short burst that's needed to actually do weights and she would get more benefit, but she needs to, none of the things that she's doing are really, in my professional opinion, understanding exercise physiology is actually going to help her lose any weight. That's why she's not shifting anything. She's really giving bad advice. This is why you have to be so cautious when you're watching folks like this young lady out here trying to sell you a health story and all this stuff. Life and vibes, sit and be fit. To you. Right, exactly. She needs to not be doing any of this. I mean, this, never talk about treatment for the issues. She's really could potentially hurt herself and hurt other people because she's, 
and she's that running that she's so determined to keep showing. Like I said, she's not doing it enough to and, and not fast. She don't have running is cardiovascular activity. The reason why you see thin runners is because we know not to carry a great deal of weight as a distance runner because you don't want to carry weight when you're running distances. Just you don't. It's like you just just like the one thing. So it's not, these people aren't skinny because of the running. They're skinny because they run and they don't want to carry weight because it works against the running to carry that much weight. So why these guys, they actually, some of them have some real eating issues, actually, believe it or not, to stay very thin in order to be able to not carry weight over distance. She's just, that's not how the calories are burnt. You just don't burn enough in running, not for what she's trying to achieve. So she's just, show, she is chair exercise. Yes, I um, would say if you got yourself some hand weights, four to five pounds, you don't have to go crazy. And you have a, you know, want to sit, even YouTube has tons of free upper body sitting exercises. I used to show them to patients of mine all the time that they could go to five and below or somewhere, get some very inexpensive weights, go, you know, just get used to doing them. They can walk you through a full routine of doing arm weights and so forth. And maybe even some that could potentially involve legs while seated. And you will probably burn more calories from the effort of doing the lifting of the weights than when if you were to go out there and run like she is. Because you're just, the way the muscles are contracting and having to burn, if you repeat them and, and actually follow them and do them as they're instructed and follow the correct form and not start out too heavy so you don't injure yourself, then you probably get more burn from that than, than headed out running. She can't get enough of a speed to even make it enough for her really to burn. She might start sweating. I don't think she's burning the calories like she thinks. <sighs> you use free weights, exercise over free weights. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, a lot of exercise bands are good too because you can, it's less likely to injure yourself sometimes. You get that resistance. The resistance is very good. Absolutely. That's why it's so important. Right, you would like to swim or ride an exercise bike. That just makes my knees burn. Yes. Well, that's really um, the swimming and the all of those things are more going to be for cardiovascular strength. So those are going to make your heart strong and healthy and help you maintain good blood pressure. I mean, that's really good for that's what cardiovascular exercise is really for heart health. When it comes to really like the calorie burn. And that, that really is from doing weights and lifting. That, and that's really what's going to give you calorie burn because you have to give your muscles that short burst of energy in order to perform those movements and lift those weights. And that is going to actually end up, that's why all the bodybuilders consume so much food and stuff because they really do burn weight, way more, way more. So, yeah. So her and her running and stuff, this is the why it's dangerous. She's not helping people. She's not helping folks. Link them in case you have them and you're curious where you get them. But I could not recommend these more. I will not buy another headphone because 10 years. I have another item of Pop Flex in here. And this, yes, was gifted to me as well. Oh! And I probably never would have bought it myself because okay, I wouldn't have thought okay. that way. I don't love water. Now, I really I'm don't have brand deals and stuff. Obviously I'm a very small channel. Uh, I'm like getting closer and closer to 2000 subs though. Um, but she said she was gifted. So just be cautious when you hear this from these influencers, you know, gifted, not to say this isn't, I always, you know, recommend drinking water. These types of just enormous sizes sometimes I think are a little exaggerated. Um, I wouldn't take that much water out when I go running. I have a very small amount of water that I take because usually I've already hydrated and stuff pre-running. This lady is a walking QVC. 
definitely don't. <laughs> I need water. There, I've said it. But I need water to recover yeah. and feel Absolutely. better. And it's just really important as part of my training to get enough water. And why I like this water bottle specifically, yeah. and I'm going to show yeah, you. We don't know if that, that this center part comes out and you can fill it with fruit. And you can fill it with just anything that you want to diff diffuse the scent into. So like mint, cucumber. I'm probably going to put some apples in here later when I do the workout portion of this video. But you can add flavor to your water using natural things. And it allows you to make water just a little bit more enjoyable. And if you heat water, it's a way to trick yourself into drinking water. Plus, it's one of those Mac Daddies that basically is like, you drink this whole thing in a day and you're good. So usually I'll have this filled. I'll have some kind of fruit diffusing in it. Anna, you're going to have a tough time selling that, girl, because everyone just getting Stanley cups. <laughs> and I will try to drink this behemoth in a day. And... um. Yeah, some days I do it, some days I don't, but it's nice to kind of also have like little goals. So like on this, it says like, 7 a.m., yeah. let's get started. Great pace, incredible job. It's very positive. I like that this bottle does not shame you. But if you get to like 3 p.m. and you're still on 7 a.m.'s water, maybe it's time to have a little drink. I just think it's motivational and it helps me consume more water. It also has this nice <laughs> plastic layer here at the bottom. Well, not plastic, silicone. The silicone layer at the bottom that just protects it. So like when you have it on rugs and stuff like that, it's not gonna poke through the plastic or scratch. It's gonna endure. I also like this strap. I feel like I carry it like this, which makes me feel incredibly strong because it's a heavy ass bottle when it's full, but yeah. Um, you don't have to get this brand. There are other brands that make this. I just personally like this one because it has the um, fruit infuser in it. And not all of them do. A lot of this them are just this very bottle. well rehearsed today. This is the last thing we're going to talk about. Ugh. And this was gifted to me by Jonathan, a true supporter of my campaign to be more physically fit. And this is a massage gun. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a game changer. I have already lost this piece. I do not know where it is. Um, so shout out to me for already losing that one. Uh, Personally, girl, that's what I happens. Like this ball that's what one, happens. And then you know? this pointed one. And this thing, that's what happens when you get the exercise equipment out and you've had a drink or the, the massager out. Gosh, <laughs> the life of a 2 million sub channel. Hey, she just, everything's, you know, she can just lose stuff. And, and the, the thing I'm trying to figure out is her home looks extremely sparse. <laughs> It doesn't look like there's like a lot of furniture or warmth in that apartment. I don't know if that's just her filming apartment or is that where she actually resides? Because it lacks a lot of warmth. It's very, very sterile, in my opinion. Oh, my gosh. When you have a sore hamstring, you just load her up. You hold your little button down. Oh, great. Come on. You see that? And then you just go <laughs> at it. And it hurts. Um, actually, it kind of hurts a lot. But this is how you help your muscles. I'm sorry. Does she not realize that that probably wasn't, like, the place to go to with that thing? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Anna. <laughs> Oh gosh, why are you so close to your back side, girl? <laughs> She's <laughs> why is she not? You know what? Quick, quick, somebody, we need to get that affiliate link and get over and get one for Foodie for the sciatica, man. Because Foodie would love to get that on her sciatica. Uh, uh, I want to see, I want to see Foodie standing up with that thing, rubbing on and massaging that piriformis muscle in her gluteal area to release that sciatica. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's a power jack. Yeah, she's finally getting some. She's been wanting it. She's a booty. Why would she go there? 
Spoonie's alone now. Well, we can send her a friend. <laughs> Let her try to figure out what it is. <laughs> you know, Anna had to be drinking when she went to. <laughs> uh, anyway. All right, guys. That was funny. All right. She's terrified of injury. Girl, this is the most action she's going to see for the holidays. Don't take him away from her. <laughs> Let's break down that lactic acid that that water you're drinking is going to flush out and helps you recover. This one has four speeds. I love it. Um, there's also an app that my physical therapist recommended that I will link down below that will show you all the different, like, what head you need to use on the gun and how you need to use it to best help your muscle recover. So like, if you know your hamstrings are stuck, like tight, you can put that in the app and it'll right be like, now. oh, use this <laughs> head and then go do this, this, and this, and then switch to the ball head and do this, this, and this. And before, prior to that app, I literally just put one of these on there and went to town. And it's way more effective <laughs> when you know what you're doing. So I'll link the app down below so you can check that out. But this is uh, my new, I'm sorry. What is she doing on the thing? <laughs> yes, Mrs. Morris Reed. Now we know where that head disappeared. Why? I know she's hitting the piriformis muscle, okay? The one that I think Foodie got a problem with. <laughs> Girl, why would she? There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Desiree. We, 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 we think she may have been drinking, as you know. I cannot stop laughing so hard. I'm sorry, guys. I'm literally crying over here. Because that's just like... Oh, my gosh. I'm getting, like, SNL sketch vibes. You know, <laughs> why? <laughs> she wouldn't be a, she, you know, she wouldn't. She's doing it on purpose. All right. She's almost done. Jeez. Best friend after working out because I get really. <laughs> she just called it her new best friend after working out. Anna, we think it's your best friend, but for other reasons. <laughs> Height buildup um, in my hamstrings, sometimes in my glutes. This baby has touched my ass. Mm. <laughs> this is sometimes the only thing that'll break it up. I can't afford uh, weekly uh, massages, but I can't afford a half an hour the several times a week of really focused it's time with this to kind of help break up super tight muscles. So if you're going to go hard. Get yourself a massage gun. Somebody says that she likes to make the into windows. Well, there you go. She delivered. <laughs> Girl, if you haven't been drinking and doing this, then please, Lord, let me know what's going on with this content. I'm what? Who makes the subs? All of these brand deals. What am I doing wrong? So that is pretty much everything in my home gym. I don't have a ton of things, but the things I have really work for me. Um, they can be expensive. They can be an investment. So I would suggest to start with one, maybe two things that you really need or really feel will benefit you. If I had to make a suggestion <laughs> of what to start with, I would start with the adjustable weights or the TRX because using those, you can pretty much get a full body workout in and you can usually sub a bench for like a chair in most cases, but it's always easier with the bench. There's always more like opportunities with the bench, but yeah, start small and build something you love. And that's what I've done here. And guess what? I don't even want to know what Anna doing on the bench with the massage gun. I, mean, <laughs> I work out three times a week for at least an hour and I never three set foot in the gym. And I've gotten the same results as people. Three times a week. That's, you know, that's not enough for somebody in her situation. She should be out at least just light walking every day for 30 minutes. Minimum. She just gets some really good solid shoes. 
and walk or walk in a pool every day. She is and saying great results. I, I think everybody has questioned if they're actually seeing any results on her because I understand she don't look any more toned than she did a year ago. So yeah, we don't see results. Yeah, we don't see results. We don't receive results. Three times a week. She's she's just yeah, jeez. It's funny because I can only hear it basically. <laughs> occupational therapy go like that. I'm so glad. Oh my god. Yes, exactly, Desiree. You told us you were gonna get a sexual. She delivered us. She delivered for the Valentine. Girl's got other things on her mind. All right, let's finish her out and then we'll just check her comments real fast and how many affiliate links and we'll be done. <laughs> we we needed so, this laugh after foodie, man. It's been worth it. Also, I think it cost about the same. I think everything all together that I've purchased is about the same price as a year-long gym membership. So that's something to keep in mind too. That's a lot. But that, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. Everything is linked down below. <laughs> I'll check you later. Cool. And peace. Oh, can you believe this is the person that these people supposedly go to? If they have lots of questions about working out. They're going to go to Anna. Anna's paid. She's blessed. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. She didn't pay for any of it. That's why she can't quote the price. She didn't say anything about how much it, just a year gym membership with gym. Oh, no. Planet, is that like Planet Fitness on their classic $10 a month membership? Are you talking like Equinox, girl? I mean, who are you talking about over here? Anyway, she has, let's see, uh, 2.1 million subs. She has 651 likes on this from three, three days ago. And she's had less than 10,000 views. Which it's it's always wild to me when you can have two million subs on a channel, but you're getting percentage wise less engagement on your channel than I get from mine. That's wild to me. Like nobody is looking at this workout equipment because everything she does is like a the Stanley cups contains lead. Oh no, God, girl. Oh, God. I feel the lawsuit's coming. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so 2.1 million subs. Look at that, guys. But look at the engagement. This is what we always look at, you know, as creators somewhat, is 651 likes. That's very small on almost 10,000 views. And obviously, look at all of this here. Look at all of these links. Just opened it up. All of that in blue. The, it has the clothes are linked. The leggings are linked. These are all affiliate links. These are all things that this Miss Anna makes money on. I was trying to explain to my friend how these people make just make money left, right, and center. The shorts. This is all affiliated. And then these are all these. You can see all these Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. All of this is Amazon affiliated, Apple, Amazon. Every single one of it is an is Amazon affiliate. She has disclosed it here in her description. Now, what do they say in the TOS, Mrs. Morris Reads? Because you have a much bigger channel. And so you probably are much more familiar with terms of service than I am on certain things. I just try to make sure I'm, I don't have to do anything. I know you do have to disclose before you put your content up that you have brand advertising in your thing. But she never, except for the Bose, she, you know, yeah, this well, they do, but it's not in contact with the inside that, oh, sorry, somebody, they were talking about that. Okay. If not, that violates. Right. Well, I don't know because she said it was gifted to her. Is what she was saying. You have to say where you show your product. If she did so, if she, so, she did it verbally. She needs to say it verbally too. See, all she said was she's gifted these. That's how she languaged it. Everything, every single one of these was just gifted to her. She didn't do it like some people who really do it like very transparently. Like I enjoy watching some of like the plastic surgery stuff. I just 
I work to plastic surgery. I find it fascinating. Like the ones that do like what Hollywood actress had what surgery. Yeah. I kind of get into that stuff. And one of them, like Lori Hill is like very good about making sure that she's very clear that this is a product that this is like, if you purchase from her, it specifically helps her out. I mean, like super, super freaking transparent. And I don't know how transparent, how did you feel? She disclosed, she did disclose it was a gift, but not so she had a feeling. She did at the very end. She Well, she said, if you want to buy, purchase these items, I have a link down below. I don't know if she specifically said it was an affiliate link. She just said she had the links for it down below. And every single one of them is like an Amazon link, as you could see. And that's why it's really important to look, you know, because obviously, though Anna's giving a good message, Anna also has an ulterior motive to get people to, you know, purchase this equipment. I don't think, I don't know how good she was about saying every single item. And there's a lot. So I don't know. She didn't mention like the, you know, she mentioned, I don't know. She just said, you're very careful. Yes, absolutely. You could get, you could really do. And I think sometimes when you get as big as her channel, you don't care. All right, let's just see quickly what the comments said. And she even put a gym in here. Whoa, man. I mean, she's really, she really does put it out there, doesn't she? Uh-oh. All right. Here's the first comment three days ago. It's hard to take any of your suggestions seriously, considering that every single product you ever mention in your videos is part of a sponsorship agreement. There's like 155 likes on that. And then somebody else said, Anna, I think it'd be highly irresponsible to create a TRX instructional video. You said yourself that you only just started TRX training. So I'm not sure why you think you have enough technique to teach others. <laughs> They're more than just a couple of straps. You still need to use proper form and movements that won't cause injury i.e jumping while holding on to the straps for dear life you're entitled to not heed the advice of others when it comes to your form and knees but please don't inflict the same potential damage to your followers this is somebody calling her out for her behavior recently and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll finish it out because this is basically uh, just to give you kind of a sense of how her audience is kind of feeling about her now which is why she i think does more stuff on like instagram and tiktok and then her youtube content tends to be this sort of stuff her audience is smart yeah uh yeah these aren't fools over here this lady says anna what you did to that woman on the jogging path was uncalled for and really mean and i did try to look for like um and not just to steal off of other people's content i tried to look for them individually on my own i am not a great sleuth so i had no trouble i had i couldn't find them but anyway it speaks more to your insecurities and not to her intentions did you ever consider that the woman who spoke to you might be lonely perhaps she just wanted to speak to someone for a minute did it occur to you that maybe she received encouraging words on the trail once and she thought she would pass it on is it possible that she was not focused on your weight, but on your effort? Did it ever occur to you that kindness doesn't always come with an ulterior motive? The world can be harsh and uncaring place. Take kindness where you find it and receive it humbly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Uh, 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 I just wanted to, yeah. Yeah, and it, yeah, so that's her latest controversy. So someone said, good job getting out there. Yeah, that's that was the uh, shaming that she received because, yeah, she was a real brat about it. She was. And I was, like I said, I was trying to find the videos that showed her being an absolute brat, but I couldn't find them. because <laughs> Well, I could find them on other reaction channels. So there are other reaction channels that have reacted to her not so if you want to the one that i always like is uh chikara um oh gosh the 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 bodybuilder reacts so if you ever look for like bodybuilding reacts to foodie beauty or any of those she did one reacting to anna getting upset with this lady giving her a compliment and showed the videos where she's getting really angry and stuff so 
if you want to delve into more of that tea with this particular creator, uh, then delve on over there and uh, enjoy that. So, yeah, yeah, it was she's kind of wild out there. And like, you know, but anyway, she was a good laugh to have after how depressing foodie was, man.